controversial new police drones that officers are deploying across the country, using the technology to reach crime scenes, even shattering windows and breaking down doors faster than any human could. David Noriega has the story. In Redmond, Washington, the first cop on the scene might look a little different. So this is where the drone lives. The Redmond Police Department is on the cutting edge of using drones as first responders. Sergeant Steve Lincoln runs the program. We can get uh, pretty much anywhere within the range of this drone in under two minutes. What kinds of calls is this responding to typically? Some examples are traffic collisions, domestic violence calls, uh, fights. We want to, uh, or a hypothetical shoplifter. We can just follow that person. You know, as they're running across the street and just guide the patrol officers in. And if we need to, we can turn on the infrared and see if anybody's hiding in the alleyway. The number of police departments that are using drones as first responders is still relatively small, but the market for this tech is massive. There's about 20,000 police departments across the country, and this tech, which is still pretty new, is on the verge of becoming commonplace. Drones are cheaper and nimbler than helicopters. They're also getting more sophisticated. Redmond PD is considering a partnership with Brink, a leading drone company that makes outdoor drones as well as tactical indoor drones. Well, if someone is inside with a rifle and it's dangerous to send up a person to break out a window, this can happen. This one can break glass to go in through a window, push open doors, use thermal imaging, and even draw 3D floor plans in real time. The tactical drone is all about reducing the probability of officer involvement. So we're trying to keep officers safe, but also suspects safe. But police drones are controversial. Seattle shut down their police drone program over opposition from residents, and civil liberties groups have privacy concerns. Never before has police been able to send robotic surveillance cameras over people's houses. In Redmond, Police Chief Daryl Lowe says they're only used after someone calls 911, not for general surveillance. We have our camera set at the horizon, so we're not capturing, uh, you know, images or in anything uh, on our way to the call or, or on our way back from the call. You think this is the future? What exactly do you mean? I believe it's the future in the sense that this is an enhancement that police departments uh, of all sizes uh, can implement. New tech transforming policing and raising unanswered questions. David Noriega, NBC News, Redmond, Washington. If you enjoy watching this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Before you leave, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification. This way, you'll never miss an update or new content. Share it with everyone on all your socials. Let them join in on the fun and knowledge. Thanks for your support.